new report from RBC suggests that the housing correction may be over. This week's video will be diving in depth into RBC's monthly housing market update and seeing what this means for our local market. As always, my name's Joe Kehoe, helping you out with all your residential and commercial real estate needs in the Bay of Quinney and Prince Edward regions. Let's get into the report. RBC's monthly housing market update with the headline Game On for Canada's Housing Market. They state, spring 2023 increasingly looks like the turnaround point for Canada's housing market after a year-long slump. April home resales increased 11.3% month over month nationwide, making it the strongest monthly advance in almost three years. Perhaps more importantly, demand supply conditions suddenly appear tight. Resurging demand and low inventories have put sellers back in the driver's seat in most major markets. Activity is still running 11% cooler than before the pandemic, but possibly not for long if more sellers enter the market. So I know inflation numbers are actually up and we may not be done with rate increases for this year. We'll see what Bank of Canada says on June 6th and their announcements after that. But what RBC is getting at here is there was always low inventory. Right? We never had higher inventory, but it was just being absorbed slower. Now it's being absorbed quicker, but the inventory is not coming to market, which is putting more pressure on prices. If we look at all of the data that it so supplies our board, prices have actually been up month over month from December of 2022, which we could potentially call the bottom. Right? I mean, the correction may not be over. This may be a bear market rally. And if rates increase again, we may see another correction but prices have been on the rise month over month for five straight months. That could indicate that the correction may be over. To speak to inventory like I did before, there always has been not very much inventory since, since the pandemic. But the difference was at the end of 2022, that inventory, although it was still low, was not getting absorbed. Now that buyers are back in the market, there's more demand, that inventory is getting absorbed quicker, but it's not being replenished. So resales are up, but new listings are staying, they're up, but they're not up as high as resales are, which is putting pressure on prices to increase. At the same time, sellers still think it's a buyer's market. So they're hesitant to list because they think we're in the same market as we were in the tail end of 2022, where no one's buying anything, which is not the case. And I think once we see the data that resale numbers are up, prices are up, there will be more supply that comes to the market because sellers will realize that, hey, it's actually a good time to list. Back to the monthly housing market update. Let's look at the, the graphs here, home resales in Canada. So like I said before, for our statistics, December, up, 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 month over month. Spring fever hits Toronto and Vancouver. So these are the two markets that control most of Canada's housing market. Resales jump 27 and 25% month over month. So huge increase. Heat turns up in other markets. So these other markets, which are pretty closely correlated with Toronto and Vancouver, Victoria, Calgary, Hamilton, Kitchener, Waterloo, London, Ottawa, Halifax, Bay of Quinney, Prince Edward County, all up, like all up, up double digits. Sales to new listings. This is what's putting us in a seller's market because we're still seeing supply issues, right? The inventory is not there, but what I spoke to before, it's getting absorbed quicker. So more sales, sales are way up, new listings are up, but not as much as sales, which is putting us into seller's market territory here, like we were in all of pandemic times and pretty much everything until the big rate increases of, of 2022. So Bold prediction here, price correction is over. Property values are rising across the country. RBC speaks to the MLS home price index increasing three quarters of local markets. And they say an upside risk to their forecast. So April's widespread vigor is actually a surprise to them. While they did expect the market to reach its cyclical bottom this spring, they thought it would take a while for the heat to return. This, in my opinion, is still all based on inventory issues. There's more buyers in the market. The inventory is still an issue. That's going to put pressure on prices. There's a quick synopsis of the RBC monthly housing market update. Let me know what you guys think. Are you a frustrated buyer that's pulling your hair out because you've lost in multiple offers five times and there's no other inventory to bid on in your price range? 
Are you a seller still thinking the market is kind of took a turn and you're waiting, waiting, holding out for the correction to be over? Well, it may be over. As always, guys, feel free to reach out to me through my website. All my info is in the description below, kehoerealestate.com. I'll also link this RBC housing market update report for you to review more in depth. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Oh, 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 oh,